Hello my friend, welcome. I'm John Silva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you three methods that you can use on Affinity Designer in order to recolor, all right, your project. So let's get started. First of all, you need to open your project and then you need to decide, okay, where I want to recolor. First of all, I want to recolor here, this roof, which is in pink. So let's say that you have here this one and I want to select all the same colors. I will go here and select, go to select same, and then you go to view color. What Affinity will do, it is going to select all colors that is same from this one here that is pinky. So I can recolor this in this way, as you can see. This is the very first method. And then the second method, it is by using tags. How the tag works here on Affinity? First of all, you need to select the elements that you want to add the tag, which means that which elements that I want to follow the same color. Let's say that you want to select this ones here, which is already selected. You're gonna go here on the layers panel, press right click, and then you're gonna pick here one tag color. I'm gonna use the green. As you can see now, Finch has applied the green to only these tags. In that case, I'm gonna select others objects in order to follow, you know, the same color. Here, I will apply the tag that can be the blue. Once you do that, what's gonna happen is that for example, I want to recolor all the colors that uh, have the same tag. So I will select this one can be anything that like that that's followed with, with this tag i'll click right click and then i go here to select same tag color once you do that i think you will select all those tags so i can change easily from here which means that let's say you are working okay I, i'm applying here this color and then i want to change the color from this house instead of select one by one in case that you have many many objects you can go here select same tag and then you can recolor by doing this method and before i forget let me invite you to join to my vectorize club if you want to learn how to create projects like this the best place that you can stay it is the vectorize club it is a community where i share all tutorials all my deep tutorials that will help you how you can create projects like this if you're interested well i will leave here the, on the description below the link so you can get the seven days free access now let's explore the last method which is the global color First of all, we need to open the swatches panel, all right, where you can find right here and also on here on the window and enable the panel swatches. I'm going to create a new document, all right, palette, so which is going to be this one, add document palette, can be lesson. And here we have an empty uh, palette. So if you want to, let's say, apply a global color that you change automatically, you can do this, right? First of all, I will go here uh, in this icon. Can you see this icon? You're going to notice that I think we will add this little uh, icon here in the very small below because it means that it is a global color. All the colors that if you click here twice and then we change, look, it's only changed this one. Why this is happening? Because we have just created the global color from the selected one. But now, if I want to apply this coloring to everything else, I will do this. I will select, because we need to address to affinity here, the shape that will follow and comes with this global color. And now my friends, look at this. I will click here twice and then I can recolor from here. If I release the mouse, I think it will change. So this is a very nice way as well, okay? I think that it's fast as well uh, compared to, to do the select same and you know, few color. And here, I will do the same. I will click here in this icon, in the second one, and then I think it will create this as global color, all right? So I need to apply all the elements that will follow and come with that color, which is this one. And then now I can, if I want to recolor, all right, let's say that you are using, and then your client, hey, John, I want to change the color. Go to the swatches, I'm gonna have here the global, click twice, and then you can change here easily. As you can see, we need to apply as well to this guy. Or oh, now it should work. Just click here twice. You don't need to select the shapes, all right? You don't need to select. So if you go here, select directly the color, click in twice, you can change in the way that you want, all right? This is the same method that you can apply here for these areas. For example, I can select this. First of all, I need to apply. I will click here, select same, few color, good. I'll go to the colors panel. Remember to click here in swatches 
and then I will go here to this icon add current fill as global okay now I can hold edit and then I can change the colors but before we do that we need to apply this color here which is now correct edit and then I can apply and change from here as you can see so this is the method that you can use and explore in order to recolor your project okay so which one is best it's gonna depend right it's really gonna depend you can edit from here or you can edit from you know by select same few color as well if you really like this tutorial you can get my new masterclass where i teach you everything about the new version of affinity designer and they're gonna learn every single step about how you can use affinity design 2.0 that's it for now. If you really enjoyed, leave it a like because it's gonna help me to bring even more contents like this. That's it for now. Take care and bye bye.